टुडे वी विल लर्न आर एच एस थियरम ऑफ कॉन्ग्रुएंसी ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अ फन रूल ऑफ चेकिंग द कॉन्ग्रुएंसी ऑफ टू राइट एंगल्ड ट्रायंगल्स सपोज वी हैव टू मेक अ ट्रायंगल ए बी सी हुज वन एंगल लाइक बी is a right angle will we be able to construct a unique triangle from this information give it a thought from this information we can make different types of triangles which are not the same size that is the information given is insufficient with this if you are given a measurement of an arm forming the right angle such as bc is equal to 6 cm will you be able to construct a unique triangle in this case also we will get different types of triangles now suppose you are given the measurement of the side and the hypotenuse of a right angled arm will you now be able to construct a unique triangle Pause the video and create triangle ABC, which has angle B is equal to ninety degree, BC is equal to six centimeter, and AC is equal to ten centimeter. Let us tell you. For this, we will draw a line segment BC, which is six centimeter in length. Then we will draw a right angle from point B to BC. with the help of a protractor a will be positioned on this ray can you tell how we will find the position of a give it a thought absolutely right since here ac is equal to 10 cm we will open the compass 10 cm place its pointed end on c and draw an arc cutting this ray intersection of arc and ray is the vertex of triangle abc that is a we will complete the construction of right angled abc by connecting a to c can you make different types of triangle abc from given measurements of different sizes try pausing the video you will get equal sized triangles in each case that is you will get congruent triangles from this we know that if the measurement of a side and hypotenuse of a right triangle is given then a unique triangle is formed with this understanding we can get another rule for checking congruency of triangles Can you tell me what will it be give it a thought come on Absolutely right if under a congruence the hypotenuse and one arm of a right angled triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one arm of another right angled triangle respectively then those triangles are congruent For example Here are two right angle triangles triangle PQR and triangle LMN with angle Q is equal to angle M is equal to 90 degrees The side being PQ is equal to LM is equal to 5 cm and the hypotenuse PR is equal to LN is equal to 13 cm If one of these triangles is placed on the other then we will be able to see that it completely covers the other triangle that is both of them have equal size and shape in geometry we say that triangle pqr and triangle lmn are congruent here the congruency is as such that it tells us that pqr is congruent to lmn therefore the relation of congruency can be written as triangle pqr is congruent to triangle lmn now let's talk about triangle pqr and triangle efg 
Among these, angle Q is equal to angle F is equal to 90 degrees. The side PQ is equal to EF is equal to 5 cm. But the hypotenuse of triangle PQR is 13 cm, while the hypotenuse EG of triangle EFG is 15 cm. If one of these triangles is placed on the other, then we will see that one triangle cannot completely cover the other triangle. That is, the size and shape of these two are not equal. Therefore, in this case, triangle PQR and triangle EFG are not congruent. So now you must have understood that with RHS congruency theorem, you can check the congruency of any two right-angled triangles. Today we learned the RHS theorem of congruency of triangles. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of these.